One out away from the lead in the wild card chase. The pitch swung on, popped him up. Shallow center. Cabrera out, born in, born, makes the catch, ball game. And the Indians are one win away from hosting the wild card game on Wednesday night in Cleveland. I'm Ariel Lagami with the MLB.com Fast Cast. The Indians move into the AL wildcard lead with a 5-1 victory over the Twins. Scott Casimir struck out 11 over six innings of one-run ball to push the Tribe's winning streak to nine games. Carlos Santana smashed his 20th home run of the year to put the Indians ahead early. The Blue Jays down the race 7-2, dropping Tampa Bay into the second AL wildcard spot, one game behind the Cleveland Indians. Jay Happ pitched a season-high 7 and one third to earn the win. The Rangers won their sixth in a row to move into a tie with the Rays for the second American League wildcard spot, defeating the Angels 7-4 in a rainy Arlington, Texas. The Rangers took advantage of some sloppy defense by the Angels, plating four runs in the second on two Angels fielding errors. How do you like this? It's home run derby in the Queen City. The Pirates bashed six home runs to power past the Reds 8-3 on Saturday, clinching home field advantage in the National League wildcard game against Cincinnati. Neil Walker clubbed two homers, while Andrew Lambeau belted his first career home run in the triumph. Goodbye baseball, grand slam. Brad Miller's grand slam in the fifth, his second home run of the game, helped the Mariners sail past the A's 7-5. The A's are now locked into the two seed in the American League and will face the Tigers in the division series. Steve Pierce ripped the go-ahead two-run double in the eighth inning as the Orioles topple the Red Sox 6-5. Despite the loss, the Red Sox clinched home field advantage throughout the playoffs thanks to the Mariners' win over the A's. Andy will get the plaudits, the handshakes, the hugs, the pats on the back. Andy Pettit turned in a gutsy complete game effort in the final start of his career as the Yankees held off the Astros 2-1. The lefty allowed just one run on five hits against his former club for his 26th career complete game and career win number 256. Adam Wainwright earned his 19th win with five and a third scoreless frames, tying Jordan Zimmerman for the NL lead in victories as the Cardinals flew past the Cubs 6-2. Matt Holliday smashed a two-run homer in the first to ignite the Redbirds' offense. Giancarlo Stanton's 10th inning walk-off single sent the Marlins past the Tigers 2-1. The Fish rally to even the game in the ninth inning as an Ed Lucas two-out base knock brought home the tying run. Juan Nicasio posted zeros over five and a third innings for the win, and Nolan Arenado drove in the only run of the game off Zach Greinke as the Rockies blanked the Dodgers one zip. The Phillies squeaked past the Braves 5-4 in Atlanta. Jimmy Rollins' diving stop and throw from shortstop in the bottom of the ninth sealed the win. Dan Harron blanked the Diamondbacks over seven frames, allowing just four hits and picking up his 10th win in the Nationals' 2-0 win over Arizona. Kristen Orfea's leadoff blast in San Francisco was one of three Padres' home runs on the game as San Diego beat up on the Giants 9-3. Hunter Pence hit his 27th home run in the loss and has agreed to a new five-year deal with the Giants. Adam Dunn's two-run rip was one of four homers on the day for the White Sox, and the Southsiders beat the Royals 6-5. And Carlos Gomez delivered a tie-breaking RBI single, his fourth hit of the game, in the 10th inning at City Field to help the Brewers can the Mets 4-2. For all the latest from around the league on Saturday, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.